Greetings, knights and knaves, lords and ladies, tis I, your Lord Commander, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a Game of Thrones mod. Welcome back to the lands of Westeros. So for today's video, we do have something a little bit uh, different planned. So a couple of days ago, I was scrolling around on YouTube when I stumbled upon a video called Playing Tall Guide by uh, Snap Strategy. So I gave it a watch and this rags to riches game that I've been playing, this uh, this little mini series that I've been playing for you guys as House Lockhart of the uh, of the Reach. I've been going about it all wrong, guys. Like I, I have just absolutely royally fucked up in that mini series. So for this episode, we will be uh, attempting to do it the right way, according to Snap Strategies playing Tall Guide. To introduce our character, I have uh, our dear man. This is, in fact, Lord Eric of House Sterling. Uh, he was a character that I made uh, not too long ago. This is actually the character I made when I was playing with my older brother, uh, but I, I just didn't keep the same sigil. This is the uh, the canon sigil for uh, for the, the Lordship of Sterling. Here we are, the lands of Sterling here in the Westerlands. Now, obviously, this is much different than our uh, county playthrough. Uh, in our Rags to Riches game, because we are all the way down here in the lands of Sunwatch, playing as a singular county. Uh, but for this episode, we are actually going to utilize the entire uh, High Lordship of Sterling. So in the playing tall guide, it is recommended that we use uh, mines and forestries and hill forts in order to uh, build up our domain, because that is something that I was doing wrong in our Rags to Riches playthrough is I was going for uh, playing wide, conquering what I could so that I had more lands, more holdings, and uh, thus increase my amount of monthly taxes and income. Uh, but that was not quite working out the way that we were hoping for, and the reason why is because I was focusing too much on acquisition of wealth rather than building up and developing our lands. So that is what we are going to be doing here. Uh, for starters, we have already built up our character. So here are the starting traits that, that Snap Strategy recommends during his uh, his playthrough. Uh, I added Formidable Fighter just because, you know, war is always, always an option for me, lads. <laughs> uh, but he does recommend using Temperate, Diligence, and Stubborn as your, uh, as your personality traits. And then... Uh, he used the four-star avaricious, uh, you know, stewardship education, but I'm using the five-star here just because it was an option. Uh, he also does recommend starting with architect and genius uh, in order to increase our ability to handle our domain and our, uh, our holdings. And then, of course, I did make this man just look absolutely regal uh, in his, in his getup. I absolutely love it. Now we have already chosen the domain focus as our lifestyle and our very first perk we chose cutting cornerstones which gives us a ton of cut in cost and building times for uh, holdings and buildings. And we also sent out a marriage request to the house Florence, yeah beautiful, uh, to the Lady Delena who actually happens to have a level 11 uh, stewardship skill which is going to help us out immensely. So one of the things that Snap Strategy recommends doing is uh, as we are going through our perks here, as soon as possible we should go for the Golden Obligations perk because we can demand payment for uh, for hooks. And I believe the stronger the hook, the, uh, the higher the payment we can demand. I'm not sure if that's actually the case, that is just my theory. Uh, so what he recommends is setting our Spy Master to the task of finding secrets. So I'm going to send him off to do that so that... Once we finally get the perk, we can start to expose people's secrets and then uh, exchange them for hooks in order to uh, demand payment, thus increasing the number of gold in our coffers. And as for our steward, we're actually going to set him to increase development in our county. Uh, I'm going to choose Silver Hill, which is our, uh, our capital, our main de jure title. That way, uh, we do get a decrease in construction time for both buildings and holdings, as well as an increase to our development growth. I'm also going to get our castle in to uh, fortify our defenses. Not sure why, but we're going to do it. To help us begin, let us go and take a look. Here we go, yeah, our Silver Hill Mining Settlement. So we can come in here and start to upgrade things once we have a little bit more gold. So what I'm thinking is we can start to take a look over at some of these other areas. 
Yeah, we're going to take a look over at some of these other areas and let's see what else we can build. So he recommends getting stuff that can cut down the, uh, the construction time for our buildings as well as increasing our taxes. So I believe the quarry might be our best bet here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get that constructed. Very nice. 22 months there. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that for the rest of these. I don't believe we have the ability to build anything like that here. Yeah, because we're not next to the mine. So let's see what else we can do. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so this castle down here does in fact have uh, shallow ore mines, a couple of quarries. It's not bad. Very nice. So our castle of Stonecliff here in the south already has a level 2 quarry as well. So that's pretty interesting. So as time goes on, we can start to uh, to upgrade. Nice. Another quarry here in this uh, in the city just to our backs. Here we go. Some forestries as well. That's amazing. Increased our our monthly tax from this holding as well as decrease the uh, the building construction time. That's beautiful. Very nice. Another quarry over here. This is a beautiful area to be doing this uh, this kind of build from. I'm absolutely excited. But now we are as broke as we can get right off the bat, uh, which is honestly quite expected. So without further ado, let us press play on this uh, this playthrough here. We're going to super speed this shit. See how far we can get. Uh, already our spy master has uncovered a secret. Cyril Lensdale's lover secret. Interesting. Very nice. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake, dude. Construction slow down for five years. God damn it. That's awful. Why did this happen right off the bat? Dude, Josman, you're kind of letting me down here, man. Kind of letting me down. Here we go. We're going to counteract it by continuing through this, uh, this branch of the architect tree. We're going to get professional workforce as our next perk which gives us a minus 30% to both building and holding construction time. And then uh, perhaps we'll end it off with uh, with centralization before we move on to golden obligations. We've already made a, a decent amount of, uh, of money back. Mismanaged population. God damn it, dude. All right, should not have hired my best friend as my steward. And now that my wife and I are married... We can get her to manage our domain, which gives us an increased number of domain holdings, which is absolutely beautiful, which is perfect because our main capital de jure title of Silver, Silver Hill has an empty uh, holding slot. Nice. Okay, so we still need uh, 53 more gold, which is not bad. We also still already have uh, projects uh, underway, so we can wait for those to finish up. Wonderful. 351, which is exactly enough for us to get something else. Um, so part of me wants to go for a castle, only because the castle, it seems, is the only place that we can really build, like, the mines from. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any mines around here, if I'm being honest. So all, at the same time, uh, part of me wants to construct a city. The issue is, with our current uh, culture and religion, uh, we cannot hold... Yeah, as a feudal paramountcy ruler, you may not personally hold a city holding, uh, which is unfortunate. Same thing with the uh, the temple. So our best bet is probably to build another castle here. It's not going to bring as uh, as much gold right off the bat, but we can definitely upgrade the uh, the buildings for it. Beautiful. Let's get golden obligations here, which is perfect. Beautiful. And now we can demand a payment for our loyalty hook. It's only ten right off the bat, but honestly. That's fine by me. So one of the reasons that Snap Strategy recommends that we gain the personality trait of Diligent is because A, for the increased uh, stewardship skill, but also because it unlocks the ability for us to develop our capital every five years. This gains us Diligent Planning, which increases our growth in our realm capital by 0.2 a month, which is not a lot, but uh, it does in fact add up every other you know, five years or so. <laughs> Very nice. And finally, we've just randomly gotten somebody, a Master Tybalt of Granite, who does have a, uh, a better stewardship skill than our best friend. So I'm sorry, my dear friend, but you're fired. <laughs> you kind of you kind of fucked me up a little too much already. So slowly but surely, we are going to start to, uh, to upgrade our buildings as they become available, uh, giving us increased amounts for our uh, perks within each holding, uh, which is going to be absolutely amazing. What other ones have been completed? That's perfect. Oh, we're actually quite broke. All right, never mind. Hold on. We'll just let that run for a little bit and <laughs> get our money back up. 
I have another beautiful daughter, Jimera. I love that. Demanding another payment on my, uh, my castellan and my vassal. Thank you. Another 50 gold. I love that. I am the steward of the Westerlands. That's amazing. Oh, look at that. Our monthly income is at plus 10.8 right off the bat. That is amazing. We started when we were 20, which means it's only taken us six years to get to this point, which is not bad. But we also started up with a bit of a leg more than, uh, than our poor Lord Lockhart of, uh, of Sunwatch. Because here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different, uh, counties here. That's absolutely insane. So obviously we're going to have more, uh, more money than, than Lord Lockhart. But either way, this is more about, uh, trying to teach ourselves how to build toll rather than just, uh, shooting our way through trying to gain as much money as we can without thinking about it. Very nice. A small keep has been constructed in Siroc. And now we can begin constructing more buildings within. Uh, we can get some forestry, which is perfect. Want to see, it doesn't look like there are any mines or anything, no quarries. Uh, there are forest forts, which is interesting. Uh, but we are going to go for the... Where, did, where the hell did it go? But we are going to go for this uh, forestry here. Gaining us uh, plus one... Plus point one to our taxes per month. As well as decreasing the amount of uh, building construction time. So let's get that underway. And we can continue on, lads. Beautiful. Logging camps have been built. Let us see about upgrading them real quick. Yeah, beautiful. Let's get those upgraded and keep going, lads. Nice. And now we are upgrading our simple mines. Not bad. Just keep gaining money, lads. I can demand payment for a, for a hook. Thank you. Beautiful. Building more quarries. This is amazing. And all these other castles. This is a beautiful spot to build up uh, in, a, in a tall, in a playing tall build for sure. This is amazing. Just money, lads. Keep making money. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Plus 12 gold per month. And another stewardship perk. Very nice. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and switch it over to our wealth focus. And get that increased monthly income as well. Plus 10%. That's going to be absolutely amazing. Household savings. Very nice. We gain 95 because of my spouse's average stewardship skill. I love that. Thank you, my lady Delena interesting rogue administration with much self-satisfied ceremony my knight master melwyn slams a bulging sack down before me look he bids i empty its contents precious metal heirlooms trinkets i've convinced some of lord roderick's commoners grins melwyn their taxes were meant for you my liege it's a decent windfall, and even better, I can just imagine the beady-eyed look of wrath on the Lord's detestable face. Very nice. Take this wealth and get me more. Very nice. You gain rampaging knights for ten years. Ooh, stolen taxes. Yeah, take this wealth and get me more. That's interesting. That's, uh, that's gonna turn out quite interesting, in my opinion. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. But look at how much money we're making, man. That gave us plus 15% to our holding income. That's crazy. Do I feel bad about stealing from the small folk? Just a little bit. Is it gonna stop me from doing it? Absolutely not. Look at how much fucking money we're making, lads. My goodness. And that's barely the tip of the iceberg. Nice, look at that, more quarries here in the villages, quarries in the castles, quarries everywhere, lads. Oh, this is amazing, so much money being made, I can't believe I've been doing this wrong the whole time, and none of you told me! I asked you, give me suggestions in the comment section below, and none of you told me I was doing the whole playthrough wrong. I swear, it's like you, you, I swear it's like you guys enjoy watching me suffer. You rap bastards, but it's okay, I forgive you. Y'all are, are pretty cool, so I guess, I guess we can just, you know, say all's fair and love in video games. What have we got building over here? Not a goddamn, but there are quarries to be made, so let's make some quarries, lads. This is going to be amazing. 14.8, not bad. We can declare war, and we can exchange hostages. Don't want to do that, so let's just continue on, lads. Lively livestock, interesting. We can either prosper, which will help our development growth, 
or we can sell it for 110 gold. Interesting. Uh, yeah, plus 10% for 15 years. Let's go for that. Absolutely. Eight hour development for sure. Very nice. And we're only 33 right now, which means it's only taken us 13 years to get this much of a profit. Absolutely insane. So I, I definitely need to try this, uh, this style of playing out on our uh, rags to riches. Because then, uh, despite the fact that our, our current player is a, uh, or our current player character is a sadistic little fucking weirdo. Uh, this will definitely help us out to uh, to raise up the House of Lockhart into the annals of history. So uh, definitely, definitely have to uh, have to try this out in that playthrough. Once again, demanding payments for uh, for hooks. That's amazing. Not bad. Speaking of hooks, let's send our spy master to the task of finding us some more secrets, so we can exchange them for more hooks and so on and so forth. Oh my god, how did I not notice this? I could literally build tax offices in my capital, uh, in my capital, my castle. That's amazing. Collecting money from the peasantry is a taxing venture. <laughs> By assigning offices to a cohort of tax collecting officials, we are sure to get what is due. Increases our holding taxes by 15%. Yes, please. That's amazing. And we can upgrade it three more times if need be. Very nice. We recruited a spy. Thank you very much. Amazing. Find me plenty of secrets so I can turn those secrets into gold. Oh no, my spy was discovered. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? With the acquisition of the It Is My Domain perk, we can use the Extort Subjects Decision. So down here in our Decisions tab, Extort Subjects. When I'm in need of money, my subjects should be happy to pay their dues. Where would they even be without me, after all? I hate what that is. Uh, I hate how that feels, but honestly, let's try it out and see what happens. Uh-oh. The very purpose of my vassals is to support my efforts. While they already pay taxes for the privilege, I cannot help but think of how much more I would earn if they all chipped in just a little more. Great wealth for me, at barely any cost to them. What's a perfect solution? We gain extorted vassals. But we also gain 230 gold. Interesting. If I ask for more though, I only get 345. Which is which is 115 more, but I also gain tyranny, which is not good. So let's go for the smaller amount. Very nice. 551 though. A ton of money. I absolutely love it. Oh good lord. What the hell is happening? Is she a witch, though? Solitary? Nah, but she's pretty sinful. I don't know. She's also a lunatic. Honestly, put her out of her misery. Do I feel bad about it? A little bit. But <laughs> look at all the money we have. Ah, oh, I have a new son and a new heir. Stefan Sterling. I love that. Very interesting. I'm actually loving this playthrough, despite the fact that we're just moving really fast. Look at that. Tax excesses. I love that. Assessors, not accessors. What the fuck? All right. What about this mining settlement? Yes. Increase. Yeah, development growth, holding taxes. Yeah, upgrade our mines. Yeah, the silver hole mines. 16.9. That's amazing. And counting. Let's go, lads. Soon our coffers will be up in the thousands. All right. So my my spy master did not find any secrets in Red Bramble. So let's head to Lansdale instead. Very nice. Efficient county taxes. You gained 125 gold. Efficient taxation. Holding taxes plus 10%. Your steward's excellent stewardship skill led to this windfall. Let's go. I'm so glad that I appointed Master Melwin. This is also the same knight who's uh, part of this here decision for rampaging knights. That's funny. Look at that. 17.4 monthly income. That's amazing. 17.5 why is it just always growing that's amazing denzel's non-believer secret oh denzel no 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 we cannot have that now can we let me blackmail him for being a non-believer i don't want to expose him i just want the hook yeah Ooh, interesting an arranged betrothal to the sensible eric with your with your permission i would like to betroth your daughter the implacable 
Arena Sterling. My eldest daughter? You... You want to marry... My eldest daughter. You're 53 years old, my guy. He has inferior military strength. No, sorry. Fuck off, mate. That's my daughter. I don't think so. He wants to give me the claim to a tranter. Where the fuck is a tranter at? What is that? What the hell even is that? Ah, a tranter. Interesting. You know what? I'll take that claim. I don't care. I'm probably never going to go after it, but I'll take the claim. Why not? Nice. Silver Hill Mines constructed. Beautiful. 25.0. My god, that's so much fucking money, lads. Oh, that is amazing. And we can almost upgrade it again. Oh, we don't have windmills. Damn it. Our culture. But I'm not the culture head either. Yeah, we need windmills. Damn you, Tywin Lannister. Oh no, my steward died. Damn it. It's back to Jasmine, son of a bitch. <laughs> alright, don't fuck this up, alright? I really need you to be on your A-game here. Oh, this is just beautiful. What I want to know is how much money would it take for us to upgrade our castle altogether? It'll take 1240 to get us to a, uh, a level 4. Yeah, a common castle. A castle with extensive fortifications, able to repel enemy forces and house, and house formidable house guards. Uh, that doesn't quite make sense, but alright. But it also increases uh, a good amount of stuff, including including our uh, monthly taxes. So that is definitely what we will be shooting for towards the end of this video: is getting ourselves up to twelve hundred. Ooh, uh, you know, no, goodbye. I don't want to go to war right now, so suck it. He'll be upset about it, but honestly, it's fine. Rogue Servant. A lowly sorcerer, sorcerer has been stealing from my household. Uh, imprison her. Sorry. And now, we can negotiate for a weak hook. Negotiate your release. Thank you. And now, let me demand payments. Oh, I can't. She doesn't have enough gold. LOL, that's funny. That's tough, isn't it? Damn it, dude. Jasmine, you're killing me, friend. Please, for the love of God, help a brother out. Yeah, because nobody else has near good enough, uh, you know, stewardship stats. It's fucking terrible. All right, let me see if there's somebody in my Lord's Court here. Very nice. Demanding more payments for hooks. I love it. Oh, my daughter comes of age. She has come far in the studies of the management of the realm, displaying a thorough understanding of the flow of gold and the wanderings of people. Very nice. She got Fortune Builder, three-star stewardship perk. I love that. Is she, uh, is she married? Did I have a betrothed to anybody? She did not. That's interesting. Very nice. We're gonna get our daughter married off to, uh, to Lord Theodore of Golden Grove. Send the proposal. Very nice. Excellent. And because she's not my player heir, it doesn't matter where she ends up. But, you know, I hope she's happy. That's all that matters. Yeah, let's get my second daughter married off. Send the proposal. Very nice. Excellent. We have a lot of allies. I love that. Oh no, my friend Melwyn died. From a seizure. Oh, my rampaging knight. That's so sad. His fellow knights will rampage without them. But he will be sorely missed for sure. Alright, so we have been called to war now by our Lord Paramount Alistair of the Reach. Uh, currently, it is him and uh, Lady Paramount Ariane of Dawn, but she's been taken prisoner. Uh, that is not good, so honestly, let's, let's accept that. Let's jump in there and see what we can do. Oh, we can't do much. We're actually, uh, we're actually losing this war. That is not good, actually. Literally not at all. All right, raise all the troops. Let's see what we can get done. Just march off to war, lads. Let's do it. Start taking castles one at a time. Oh. I see. Those are our allies. So let's head this way. Should have summoned them at Stone Cliff, and now I feel foolish. 
All right, now this has slowed down our uh, our monthly income for sure. Uh, it also doesn't help that we lost the 15% from our ra rampaging knights. Uh, but because we are at war, we did gain the uh, the war profiteer perk is now kicking in. So at least we're not at uh, at terrible numbers either. Jimera comes of age, my second daughter. Very nice. She's a diplomat, a true silver tongue. She could sway the opinion of counts and kings alike. I love that. And of course, my uh, my wife, Lady Delena, she did in fact uh, help with that. She got four-star diplomacy, the gray eminence trait. They grow up so fast. How lovely. And now they can marry. Send the betrothal. Yes. Excellent. And we gain a stewardship perk. I love that. All right, let's keep an eye out in case any uh, any allies start start rushing this way. Oh man, look at all the look at all the forces they have down here. Yeah, we are losing this war. That is not good. Very nice. We have won our first siege. Let's move on to the second one, lads. Nice. I can ransom people. Yay, fifty gold. Thank you. I'll take that. Let's move our forces onwards. There's another war going on. Oh my god, why? Oh my god. No, uh, I'm already in your liberty war. You're telling me somebody else has declared war on you now? Jesus, hang on, let's see this. I'm the new head of culture in the of the Westerlands. Oh my, what is happening? Very nice. I am the new uh, head of the Westerman culture. That's amazing. Ooh. Oh, let's do cranes. Unlocks all late medieval era economic buildings. Building construction time minus 15%. Let's do it, lads. We are also going to have to leave this war sometime soon. Dynasty legacy. All that glitters is gold. Interesting. Yeah, holding taxes plus 10%. Let's go. The golden stool. I love that. We shit gold. Ooh. Altering the deal. My vassal, Lord Lorimer, has contacted me... Has a contract with me that is quite lenient, exempting him from many of the obligations I would typically expect from one of my vassals. If I could get him to consent to increased obligations, it would greatly benefit the realm in the long term. Damn, either I pay him money and he and he <laughs> pays me more money, or none of these will none of these other ones will work, so. Oh my god. There's so much happening. I'm in another war now. Oh my, that is awful. That is not good at all. Oi, I love that. Absolutely love it. Oh, there's 10,000 men here, like Jesus. Alright, we are at war on all sides, and I'm not entirely prepared for it. I hate zooming out and seeing all of this red. There are so many fucking enemies. I'm so, I'm so terrified. This is actually awful. Um... Yeah, there's a there's a lot of enemies out and about. There's an army of 9,000 people over here, almost 10,000, uh, which is not good. But we've almost won this first war uh, for Lord Paramount Alistair of the Reach. We're almost there, so let's just keep that going. We can also ransom prisoners, which is uh, pretty good, pretty good. Wonderful. Making lots of gold, I love that. Yeah, demanding payments for obligations, I love it. Not bad. Hey, look, allies. Hey, look, allies. Yes. Perfect. Let's finish this siege and push ourselves south, lads. Also, a new stewardship perk. Let's get divided attention, which gains plus one domain. That's amazing. We can build another castle somewhere, lads. Uh, unfortunately, not in this area. Let's do it right here. Can we construct this holding? Yeah, we can. Um, The issue is we just got to the 1200 gold mark which means we should be able to ah we need 1360 all right we can hold off until we get the 1360 and then we can build another castle that way we have five total castles that's gonna be a shit ton of money lads can't wait yeah encouraged improvements which does what for us development growth plus 10 percent. beautiful do it very nice we're also making lots of uh, money from this war effort as well. We also don't have a commander in our army. That's a little silly. Yeah, Lord Halman of Longbolt. You can, in fact, be my new uh, commander here. 
He is not very happy with me. For what reason, I'm not entirely sure. So, let's send him a gift of money. He's going to take 110 gold, and then he's going to like us for it. There you go. See? Why have enemies when you can have friends? Am I right? Beautiful. And now we've won this first Liberty War. Oh god, the Lannisters are losing their, their rebellion, which is not good. Which means the Lannisters are going to be overthrown at some point. Uh, but there is still, in fact, this army of 10,000 people down here, which is quite a scary number. So we are going to move ourselves uh, west just a tad bit and start laying siege to their lands while they're occupied. You know what I'm saying? This should be fine. And our castle is currently being built uh, right here, right next to our capital of Silver Hall. I love that. And we're still making copious amounts of fucking money, lads. Oh, they're attacking. Oh. Oh, they got caught. That's not good. Oh, yep. That is not good at all. Do I have anybody in my prisons? Yes, I do. I have four people. Let us send them out for some hooks. Yes. Yeah, some weak hooks. Oh, he's not going to accept that one. What about you? Yeah, he'll take that. Perfect. And then we can demand payment for said hooks later on. Yeah, they're leaving. Okay, good. Whoo! I was going to be very upset if I'm being absolutely honest. So what I'm thinking is perhaps we can disband our army. Oh, never mind. Hold on. That wouldn't be the best bet here. Oh, no. We're in quite a predicament, aren't we? Especially because uh, we are losing this war. I just need them to hurry up and lose, honestly, because I, I don't want to be a part of this any longer. Please. I don't want to play anymore. I just wanted to build castles, guys. Yeah, well, they lost. Okay, good. Oi, Jesus. Alright, I'm not going to war again. We're making more money without having to go to war. So let's just keep that going. Boom. And we've unlocked the, uh, the trait architect and therefore completed the entire architect, uh, perk tree, which is perfect. Uh, and now we can continue on and go for the perk avaricious, which gives us plus two to our stewardship as well as plus 15 holding taxes. I love that. Lots of money, lads. Oi, yeah, the Lannisters are not doing too hot, if I'm being honest. Um, can I join this war? They are cur currently at war, but I can't join them when they are currently at war. Isn't that a shame, isn't it? Lord Tybalt, eh? Yeah, I'm not exactly uh, friends with any of these people, so I'm gonna let them do what they do. You know? Yeah, just leave me out of it, please. Ah, oh, Lord Arlen, no! He took my place as the culture head. I'm trying to build something here, you sack of shit. Cranes. Good. Yes, please. Keep cranes going. Expected to be discovered in 43 years. That's awful. My character will most likely be dead by then. Because that will put us literally at 90 years old. We're at 47, though. Which means it's been 27 years and we've made incredible progress since the beginning of this. In truth, all I want to do now is uh, upgrade the castle of our main capital, and then we will end this bloody episode. We need 1360 gold, we are at 1031, which means we're nearly there, lads. A couple more years, we'll be able to afford it for sure. I am now the steward of the Westerlands, I love that. What does that mean for me, eh? Oh no. Ravella Ludel is a known criminal, a fornicator. Interesting. We can send her to prison for it. Uh, sure, because then we can get money out of her. Justice. Ravella has been apprehended and awaits her fate safely locked in my dungeons. Good, good. But I am nothing if not merciful. So, uh, let's see about getting you out of here. I can't gain a hook. So, honestly, uh, I lied. Sorry. You're going to stay in there until you die. Yeah, and this lady doesn't want to accept a hook either. So, you too will stay in here until you die. I don't know what to tell you. You can either pay me money to be released, or you can stay in prison. Seems like a pretty obvious decision to me, but, uh, you know how Game of Thrones characters are. They're kind of stupid sometimes. Oh, my maester died. Damn it. That's right. Send a raven to Old Town. Let's get a new one up in here. Uh, my castle. Yes, beautiful. Look at this, Sterling Pass. Oh, I love that. That's such a cute name for a castle, Sterling Pass. Yeah, very nice. And now I have a new castle, lads. Can I upgrade this one? I can. 
Uh, it can go to level 2, which is not bad. What is our capital at? Our capital is at currently level 3. Yeah. To get it to level 4, we need 1240, which means we're almost there. A new maester of Silver Hill. We have Brian. Yep, my acquaintance Ravella, Ravella died in my dungeons. Well, I told you. You could either pay me gold, or you could die in jail. A disloyal vassal. Ah, oh, it's Roland. He was my friend, though. I thought we were friends. Oh, no, I was thinking of Lorimer. Never mind. Fuck you, Roland. I'm poring over the ledgers that detail my income from vassals. These numbers. This math is not mathin'. The inept Lord Roland has me for a fool and has been paying too little. How fucking dare you? Alright, the Lord must pay his due. He gives me ten gold. I really made that big of a deal over ten gold? That's kind of shitty, isn't it? Uh, I have a new daughter, Andra Sterling. Yay! I have a daughter now, lads. Congratulations. Nice. Do we have enough to upgrade our capital? It jumped back up to 1360. For why? I don't know. Either way, we're almost there. Yeah, there's there's a lot of armies passing through my uh, my lands. I need y'all to chill the fuck out, please. I have a closed border policy. I need you to uh, leave my lands immediately before I I don't know kick your ass. Thanks. Come on, we're nearly there. 1379, lads. Is that it? 1360. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, our, our culture's innovations, or lack thereof, is actually uh, holding us back. 326 years, yep. So th this is basically as good as uh, our capital is gonna get. Uh, which honestly is not too bad. Which is honestly not too bad. Like, as far as castles go, this is pretty impressive. So... Ah, uh, I don't know. That that was nice while it lasted. Let's uh let's upgrade our newest castle of uh, Sterling Pass. Upgrade. Making lots of money, lads. We can also upgrade some of our uh, other buildings, and get some new ones, shan't we? Let's start by getting some blacksmiths built up. Uh, perhaps in Sterling itself. We can also upgrade our tilled fields. Love that. Yay, which means more fucking money, lads. Oh, my Counselor Lewis died. No, Counselor Lewis. He was my Chancellor, damn you. Lord Roland of Lansdale. It's that guy. That guy who betrayed me. Oh, I have a hook. Hold on. Let us... Oh, I can't demand payment. She doesn't have enough money. Can I imprison her? I could with the hook, but I don't want to do that, so. Interesting. So now we've gotten another perk that says we can sell trivial titles. Uh, unfortunately, we do need uh, 500 prestige to do that. Yeah. And we would gain 300 for that, but we don't have... I don't think we have any trivial titles, if I'm being honest. Uh, we also just don't have enough prestige to do that kind of thing yet, so... Uh, we're gonna just gonna leave that alone for now. Very nice. Lots of, uh, building and constructing, and honestly, I just, I love it, lads. It's fucking fantastic, innit? What else could we build in our capital? Let's get some blacksmiths going. Yeah, because that's gonna increase our holding taxes by 4%. Love that. Oh, my, my counselor died again. No! It was my steward this time. God damn it, Jasmine. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, uh, this is like the third time he's been hired and fired for this job. Because he keeps costing me money. Ooh, an invitation to Golden Tooth, but no, I'm okay. Thanks for that. Uh, Lord Arlen is going back for his uh, his his seat at the, uh, at the head of the House Lannister. That's amazing. Uh, kindly leave me the fuck out of it, though. Thanks. I'm being made Castellan of the Westerlands. I accept. I don't know what that does for us. I don't think it does much, if I'm being honest. Dude, he, he's... Ugh, he had this job for, like, five minutes, and already he has fucked up. Mismanaged population for five years. God damn you, Jasmine. Friend or no, I should throw his ass in jail, if I'm being absolutely honest. Nice. 
We've completed our construction of the blacksmiths. Let us get those upgraded swiftly. Alright, lads. So, unfortunately, we cannot upgrade our uh, capital uh, any further than it currently is. At least not for the next 400 fucking years. So, what's going to happen is we're going to gain... Uh, get our gold back up to over a thousand and then we will end today's episode lively livestock yay we are actually going to sell this herd for 155 very nice yeah lots of construction being done i absolutely love this lads so sterling pass is now a level two castle yeah, castle holding level 2. It's going to cost another 1,000. But instead, we are going to build some things. And pizza has arrived. I'm absolutely in love. We can build quarries in this castle, lads. You know how much I love building quarries. Because that means gold. Lots of gold from the mines. Ooh, hey. And another perk. We can get avaricious. Yeah, very nice. Oh, why does he look angry now? Whoa, hang on now, Eric Sterling. What is your deal, my guy? He is avaricious as fuck. Uh, he is also disgraced. Uh, the only reason is because we uh, declined the call to war uh, once or twice. But, I mean, what was I supposed to do? They lost anyway, literally both of them. Like, hello, what the fuck? Construction negotiations. Very nice. Yeah, getting lots of shit done, lads. We're a couple of badasses back here, aren't we? Let's upgrade our blacksmiths once more in our capital realm. We are at 23 uh, incre er, income per month, Jesus. Not bad, lads. Not bad. Draw plate constructed in Silver Hill. I love that. I believe that is the, uh, the third level. Yeah. Nice. Stone quarries built in... Uh, and Sterling Pass. Let's get those upgraded right, right quick. I sold something and got 340 gold for it. I love that. Not sure what I sold, but I love it. Oh my. Yeah, he's a... Oh no, my my counselor died. Again. Oh, this time it was my spy master. He served me so loyally for years. Literally decades. Hey, Mina. Who the fuck is Mina? I remember your name. What did I do? Did we... We had like a disagreement or something. I feel like I did something. But anyway, uh, she has 26 intrigue skills. That is fucking impressive. Uh, so let's set her to the task of finding secrets. Perhaps we can gain some hooks and therefore gain money for it. 793 gold and climbing lads. Let's keep it going. Oh, my son comes of age. He has shown great aptitude in both battle tactics and the management of armies. He will make a fine commander one day, I am sure. Very nice. So my son and heir gained skilled tactician, a three-star martial skill, and four-star formidable fighter. Gives him plus eight prowess. Very nice. I love that. Rogue administration. Yes, once again, rampaging knights at the hands of a master Garrett of bright feather. Take this wealth and get me more. Ooh, she did not like that. Minus 97. She's intimidated. She doesn't like that I'm disgraced, which is pretty obvious. She hates me. My heir is currently unmarried. Inchfield. House Inchfield. Let's see. What will give us the greatest alliance strength? Eveline? Yeah, Eveline of House Costain. Interesting. They have an inferior... Yeah. Military strength, currently. House Vance. Who are you guys? Of Atranta. I have a claim on this place. That's interesting. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get them married off. Why don't we? Sure. Send the proposal. Get my, ma get my, uh, my heir married off. Yeah, very nice. Excellent. To Atranta. And our mines have been upgraded in Sterling's Pass. We can upgrade them once more. See how beautiful everything goes once we start snowballing. I just fucking love it, lads. This is great. I should take Spalding. Household savings gained another 195. We have plus 27.5 gold per month and a total of 806 in our coffers. I love it. We are nearly there, lads. And thank goodness, too, because my butt hurts sitting in this damn chair, lads. 
All right, moving on. Yep, and see, Lena Flowers dies in my in my dungeons. Once again, you can either pay gold or you can die in prison. It's honestly not that difficult, if I'm being absolutely honest. Wow, Lord Arlen replaces Lord Tybalt of Castamere. That's hilarious. All right, let's see if I can't get you to... Nope, they don't have enough gold. All right, <laughs> that's embarrassing. 915. A council invitation? You have been a loyal and devoted subject. Thanks, Lord Arlen. Making me steward of the Westerlands once again. Love that. Our stewardship skill is currently at 35. That's amazing. Making knights of children. My child, Stefan, has recently become an age in which he is able to be squired. Perhaps I could command a vassal of my realm to squire him. I believe Lord Halman of Longbolt would be a good candidate. Sure. Let's do that. And just like that, oh, plus 30.5. That is insane amount of money, guys. Damn, and we're at 1,002. Ah, oh, fucking beautiful, lads. Man, this has been quite a uh, successful build, if I'm being absolutely honest. Let's finish for some uh, some of this construction. Yeah, water mills has been constructed. Bright Feather is currently undergoing construction as well for the hillside fields. We've got 20 days left. And this has... I can't... I can't tell. How much time does this have? 50 days. All right, not bad. Very nice. And just like that, we have a grand total of 1,217 gold, making 30.4 gold per month. That is insane amounts of income here, guys. Absolutely insane. I can pardon my spy master. What? Hold on. What did you do? Theft and fornicator. She's a known criminal. I could uh, I could imprison her. Uh, no, let's give her a pardon. She is my spy master. I figured she kind of did some shady shit. Kind of just makes sense. Anyway, alrighty, lads. That was in fact a uh, a very interesting build. Uh, I'm really glad I stumbled on that video, if I'm being honest, because, uh, that just made the acquisition of copious ungodly amounts of gold just that much easier, and I, I'm genuinely excited to apply what we've learned here in the, uh, the Rags to Riches miniseries that we're playing as House Lockhart of the Reach. Now, hopefully we haven't uh, gone too far down the rabbit hole uh, in our House Lockhart playthrough, and uh, there's at least a little bit still salvageable from that absolute shit show of a, uh, of a mini-series. Uh, but if not, of course, I do hope you enjoyed today's video at the very least. And uh, honestly, if you give me 20 likes in the first 24 hours of this episode going up, uh, perhaps we'll do a part two and we can continue on with the legacy of uh of lord eric of house sterling out here in the westerlands making copious amounts of gold lads and of course if you are new to today's channel then i your lord commander implores you to strike ye old subscribe button and to ring the bell of notification so that you can stay up to date on all of our newest uploads but that being said and done my loyal knights always 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 remember honor and service glory and sacrifice and i your lord commander will see you in the next episode goodbye